All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Demon Slayer. So, guys, we are finally starting Chapter 6, Hashira Meeting. And, guys, I can't tell you, I cannot wait to start this episode. This will seem like it's pretty interesting. Last episode, we met some new Demon Slayers. Well, one of them, uh, Tanjiro, met at the very beginning of the story. I can't remember if he got introduced or not. I got to go back and see. But, but, guys, we are about to go meet... I guess the Hashira, I guess. I guess these, these guys in this picture. But guys, without further ado, make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell notification for more content. Guys, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm sure that even after this, there are some who cannot accept Nezuko. Work towards changing their minds. Prove them wrong. Hey, you're awake. You passed out cold the second we moved you here. Everyone was worried because you weren't waking up. Figures I'd be the one who'd have to watch you. I always said you were pretty out of it, but... Well, I guess she was right. I see. What's wrong? My head just feels a little foggy. I can't really remember what happened. Oh, is that all? After all that, he's gonna act this way? How arrogant is this kid? My stomach hurt so bad the whole time. After the mission on Mount Nadagumo. That's right, I... Hey! Come on! Get up! Are you gonna sleep the whole dang day? Just wake the hell up, will ya? <laughs> You're in the presence of the Hashira! I heard he was a demon slayer with a demon in tow. I was expecting someone with a bit more flair. But it's just some ordinary looking kid. We must see that this boy is put on trial to be judged. So it shall be! To think that he's been protecting his sister who was turned into a demon! What a brave and beautiful display of sibling love! What? Who are all these people? Don't open your mouth until you're told! Do you know who you're in the presence of? These are the Hashira! The Hashira? I have no idea what that is. Who are all these people? Where even am I? This is the Demon Slayer's headquarters. You are here because you, Tanjiro Kamado, are to be put on trial. Before we begin the trial, why don't you explain the crime you have been accused there of? There is no need for a trial! Protecting a demon is a clear violation. We can deal with this on our own. We shall execute them both. In that case, I'll decapitate them with style. I'll show you the most dramatic spray of blood ever. It'll be a spectacle. No way! You'd really kill a child as adorable as him? Such a thought fills my heart with sorrow. Alas, to see such a pitiful creature as this, I grieve for him. Perhaps it would have been better had he not been born at all. Those clouds, what do you call them when they're shaped like that? I can't remember. Wait, where's Nezuko? Hey, the Hashira are speaking. What are you looking at? Your eyes should be over there! These are the nine highest-ranking swordsmen in the Demon Slayer Corps! 
Those are the Hashira? Hey! Nezuko! Where did you take her? Nezuko! Senitsu! Hinosuke! Murata! Never mind this boy. What will we do with Tomioka? Seeing him standing there without any restraints is making me feel ill. Based on what Kocho told us, he's just as guilty of breaking the Corps' rules. How should we make him take responsibility? What kind of lesson shall we teach him? Igoro, you're as sharp-tongued as ever, I see. I love that side of you. Look at Tomioka over there, all alone and stoic-like. What a cutie! Oh, I think it's fine. He did come here without resisting. Let's come up with a penalty later. What I'm more interested in is hearing this boy's story. He's in this situation because of me. Tanjiro Kamado, as a fellow demon slayer, for what purpose are you traveling with a demon? You can take your time. Just answer the question. She's my... my young... <coughs> you look like you need some water. I can tell you've injured your jaw, so please, drink slowly. I added an anesthetic to the water to help. Your wounds are still healing, so it would be best if you didn't push yourself. Are you ready to tell us your story now, Tanjiro? That demon... is my little sister. My family was attacked by a demon while I was gone, and... I lost them all. Except for her. She may be a demon, but she's never hurt anyone. She never has. And she never will. She'll never harm a human being no matter what! Enough. Spare us the absurd ramblings. Anyone would defend their family. Why should I believe a single word you say? Sorry, but I'm not buying it. Please, just listen to me. I became a swordsman in hopes of finding her a cure. It has been two whole years since Nezuko became a demon, and she hasn't ever eaten anyone! Your storytelling is lacking any vibrant sparks of color. She hasn't eaten anyone, and she never will. If you're gonna plead your case, at least make it interesting to listen to. Excuse me. Something about this concerns me. I find it hard to believe the Master would have been unaware of this situation. I don't think we should act without his permission. Maybe it's best if we wait until he arrives. My sister. Let my sister stay by my side. She can fight to protect humans as a demon slayer. I know she can. So please. Well, well, well. What exactly do we have brewing over here? Is that the moron who's been traveling with a demon? <sighs> Start talking. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Oh, those new scars make Shinazugawa look even more handsome! Go on. Say that again, kid. She can fight to protect humans as a demon slayer. Isn't that what you said? You know what we call that? Being completely out of your mind, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who harms my sister answers to me! I don't give a damn if you're one of the Hashira! <laughs> Is that supposed to scare me? Cease this at once. The Master will be here at any moment. The Master of the Mansion has returned. My beloved children, I thank you for coming here this day. <laughs> Good morning to you all. The weather is strikingly nice today. Perhaps with the blue sky, finding ourselves here, at our semi-annual gathering, with all the same faces, it brings me joy. He looks wounded. No, sick maybe? 
Is he really their master? And the master, the Hashira, Nezuko. Nezuko. Where's Nezuko? Huh? Your sister is right there. She's been asleep the whole time. Makes sense, given everything that's happened. R right. Okay. <sighs> you look like you're still a little groggy. Why don't you go for a walk and wake yourself up? We'll be safe here in the Butterfly Mansion. And I'm pretty tired of watching over you. I'll go tell everyone you're awake. If you see anyone around, make sure you greet them properly. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, sure thing. Just feel better soon, okay? A proper greeting. Okay. Looks like I've got everyone worried. Let's go. In the Butterfly Mansion. Shinobu lives here. I was brought here huh? to recover. Is that... Oops. I messed up the dialogue. Oh, well. <laughs> hmm. I have no absolute com comment on what um on what I just witnessed here. Um No oh, well I'm just talking about that one Hashira, the girl. <laughs> I don't know, she seems to have a lot of love issues. I don't know. I guess we're I don't know what we're doing. I guess we're just going I around here. Anything that stands out. Uh, do we go out here? Oh, well, we do go out here. Okay, let's, um, let's just continue checking around real quick. I want to get a good feel of this place. Oh, that leads outside. Can we go out this door, too? Yep. So many doors. Yet only one leads to where we're supposed to be going. Read the residence in the Butterfly Mansion. Um... Let me, let's just open this door then. Fine. Huh? All right. It's a little training room. All right. I'm just going to go out this door. Oh, okay. Now I see where our objective is. Okay, there's, there's a person standing over there. All right, let's go around back. See what we can find out. Oh, there's some more people. Huh? Um. Before I go talk to them, let me um. Grab this real quick. What's this? All right, memory fragment. There we go. Ooh, another one. Huh? Is that? All right. Oh, Inosuke and Zenitsu. Uh, I guess we'll talk to them. I guess are we are we done with all the missions here? I'm um, sure. Let's just talk to him real quick, then. Oh, Zenitsu, Inosuke. Oh, Tanjiro. You sure look like you're up and refreshed. What are you two doing here? What do you think? We're lying in the sun. There's nothing for us to do. And, well, just look at Inosuke. 
I'm sorry for being so weak. Uh, oh. Anyways, you met the master, right? Oh, what was she like? What'd you think when you first saw her? Oh my gosh, please tell me she was a beauty. The master is a man. I've lost interest in this conversation. Um. <laughs> okay. Zenitsu? Oh. Yeah, we're going to have to have a long talk about this later, my boy. We, we really are. All right, let's talk to these girls. Hello, ladies. Thank you. Sorry to worry you all. How are your wounds, Tanjiro? Oh, uh, they're okay. It doesn't hurt much anymore. I'm so glad to hear that. But that doesn't mean you can go and do anything strenuous. Yeah, Shinobu will get mad at you. Got it. I'll take it easy for a while. Shinobu. Oh yeah, I forgot that's the um I think that's the demon slayer with the butterfly. Okay. Butterfly ability. The insect hashira, I think that's what she's called. The one with the um purple and black hair. Yep. Alright. Uh there was one more person around here I need to talk to. Where is she? Well, oh, she is way over there. There she is. Let me pick this up while we're at it. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and talk to you. Hello, ma'am. I'm so glad you're awake. Uh, thank you. I'm sorry to be a burden. This place is for treating those who have been wounded in the line of duty. It's our job to take care of you. There is no need to apologize. Oh, well, thank you very much then. Though you are awake, your body may not yet be back to normal. You need to keep resting to ensure a full recovery. Understand? Yes, I'll do my best. Is this really the same boy who made such a fuss at the Hashira meeting? Um, all right, return to your room, okay. I like this place. This place looks nice. Again. I should thank him one of these days. This place does look pretty nice. It's got a nice aroma to it, nice little vibe. The butterflies and the flowers and the clear blue skies. It's just as you've all reported. The demon's carnage has reached an all-time high. This means the threat to human life is greater than it has ever been before. We must bolster the ranks of the demon slayers. Now, what are your thoughts? The incident on Mount Nadagumo says it all. The caliber of demon slayers has dropped tremendously. Most of them are completely useless. The trainers must have gone blind. You'd think they could at least tell if someone's competent or not. The more the human race grows, the harder it becomes to control and unify them. And in this era, that seems to be especially true. We have those who've joined us after their loved ones were slaughtered. And those who have hunted demons for generations. But for the others, it's another matter entirely. Asking laymen for the same or even greater commitment to our cause. 
I feel this would be much too cruel. But we must consider that this boy, soon after joining, encountered one of the twelve Kizuki. I think he can draw them out. Even we rarely get the chance to confront one. I am envious! A fair point. However, the fact that lower rank 5 made such a drastic move likely means Kibutsuji is far from Mount Narakumo. Like with Asakusa, whenever he wishes to hide something, he proceeds to create a clever diversion to throw us off his trail. To be honest, it's quite frustrating. But as long as these demons linger as they do now, freely devouring humans and gaining strength as a result, there is only one thing for us to do, for the sake of those who have died. I feel you who are present today, the Kors Hashira, are the finest unit I have assembled since the swordsmen of the feudal era. The very first to use breathing techniques. Tengen Uzui, Kyojuro Rengoku, Shinobu Kocho, Mitsuri Kanrochi, Ruichiro Tokito, Yume Himejima, Sanemi Shinazugawa, Obanai Igoro, Giyu Tomioka, my beloved children. I look forward to seeing your success. Wait, I'm so confused. Hold on now. How did I get a C rank and all I did was just walk around and talk to everybody? <laughs> what? Um, I'm confused here. Okay, I guess we'll go to the next chapter then. Alright guys, I guess we're going to start chapter 7, the Butterfly Mansion. So, let's not waste any time. Let's hop right into it. It had been a few days since I'd arrived at the Butterfly Mansion, and my body was recovering nicely. Shinobu, the insect Hashira, smiled as she told me what was next. Let's have you start your rehabilitation training. Rehabilitation training. At the time, I didn't know what to expect. But it was so hard. Seriously, like having my heart torn out from my chest. First, they stretched us out to the point of tears. Then, Aoi and Kanaho put us through the ringer, with a combination of reflex training and full-body tag practice. We had to keep doing it... day after day. But we never won. Kanaho is especially hard to beat. With their spirits broken, Zenitsu and Inosuke stopped coming to training. I'm not very skilled, so I figured the only thing I could do is keep giving it my all. But one day, Kiyo, Naho, and Sumi gave me a piece of advice. Concentration breathing non-stop. We're told that doing so makes all the difference in the world. It's called total concentration, constant. And it was totally new to me. It's a hell of a technique. Being able to remain in that state around the clock, there was no way I could defeat Kana'o without it. To achieve such power, your lungs need to be strong enough to break a giant gourd. With that goal in mind, my path was set. The only thing left was to put in the work. I'm the kind of person who keeps on trying. Pushing forward bit by bit. 
Perseverance is the only thing I have. And sure enough, as the days passed, I started to get the hang of it. After a lot of struggle, I finally managed to maintain my total concentration breathing. And ever since then, it's become a little more natural for me. I've decided it's time to try breaking that gourd. This'll be the ultimate test of my new power. I can probably... No, I will definitely do it. All right. I feel good about this. My body's gotten used to maintaining the total concentration state. I'm gonna break that gourd. <sighs> They're gone. When are Zenitsu and Inosuke going to get back to training? I should go outside. Alright. Try to break the gourds in the garden. Okay, that's the main objective here. Oh. Well, hello, Shinobu. How are you? Good morning. Oh, good morning, Shinobu. Starting your training for the day? Actually, I want to test my constant breathing by trying to break a gourd. I see. It's a bit embarrassing when she stares at me like that. With how hard you've been training, you might see good results. Really? All right! I've got this! Tanjiro. Yes? I've said this before, but good luck. I have high hopes for you. Yes, ma'am. I'll do my best. All right. Hey, Tanjiro. Zenitsu, you gonna start training again soon? Everyone's waiting. They're worried about you. Training? Oh, I'm over that now. The girls were nice and all, but I couldn't even get within arm's reach of Kano. I did everything I could. Oh, well. Come to think of it, where's Inosuke? Was he not with you? Oh. He's off playing in the mountains. Well, it's about time I find somewhere to hang out, too. Let's see, where should I go today? <laughs> I can't wait! This is hopeless. I've got to finish my training so I can show them the ropes. Okay, um... Okay, let's, let, me, let me look at the map here. Where, I guess we gotta go outside. Yeah. Alright, let's get up out of here. Inosuke's in the mountains and Zenitsu is just gonna go wander around for a while. Makes sense. Alright, today's the day. Alright, let me, um... Actually, let's go ahead and just start the training. We're just gonna walk around for a bit, but let's go ahead and start it up. Hello. Did you need me for something? Yes. We thought you might like to try breaking a gourd. We were waiting for you. Whoa. How did you know? We've been watching you every day. We can just tell. Am I really that transparent? In any case, it feels nice to know they're looking out for me. I appreciate it. All right. Time to try it out. Good luck, Tanjiro. We're rooting for you! Blowing so much air into a gourd that it breaks. When I first heard that, I thought it was impossible. But now I know that the longer I'm able to keep up my total concentration breathing, the stronger my body gets. Maybe I can actually do it! Oh, when the button icon lines up with the target, um, hold down the corresponding button. Uh, what? 
Okay, let's give this a shot. Is this gonna be what I think it is? Oh my god, I don't- wait, what? Oh my god, oh no! What? your help The next day, I went to the dojo first thing in the morning and challenged Kanaho to another round of full-body tag training. And just like always, Kanaho was as fast as lightning. But since I finally mastered total concentration breathing constant, I actually managed to catch her. All that's left now is reflex training. A battle to splash the other with tea! Okay, first of all, um, the last part, I, I don't know what was going on here. Huh? I was literally trying to mash the buttons, but I don't know what was going on here. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe I can try to get it this time. Let's, let's see what happens. Are you free to talk? Yeah, let's go. Let's go for it. Right. Understood. I'm probably gonna lose this. Last time, I didn't stand a chance against her. But today, I'm gonna win! Let's do this! Okay, T Splash. When the button icon lines up the target in the screen, press the corresponding button. If you succeed, multiple success in a row will earn you more points. So is this like a button mashing thing, or am I gonna have to hold it down like I did the last time? I trained so hard for this. I'll probably what? No, I'll definitely win. I can see how she's moving now. Whoa, he's moving totally differently from before. I can't believe he's able to hold his own against Kano. Oh crap, I missed it. Total concentration breathing constant is really paying off. I gotta be on it. I'll put this right here. Well, I'll take a B. I, I, I will definitely take the B. I can't believe he beat Kano. Great work. Thank you so much. Oh. Senitsu. Inosuke. Uh-oh. Mundro's getting too far ahead of me. 
The technique Tanjiro mastered is called Total Concentration Constant. What? By maintaining total concentration breathing every minute of the day, your physical fitness drastically improves. It's honestly quite elementary. Anyone could do it. You just need to put in the effort. Tell me, are you just not strong enough? <coughs> I was sure it would be child's play for you, Inosuke. Was I wrong about that? I guess it was just too much. Oh well then, don't you worry. If you can't do it, I guess that's that. Excuse me? Of course I can do it! Don't you talk down to me! Huh? Please give it your all, Zenitsu. I'm your number one supporter. <laughs> okay! Nine days later, Zenitsu and Inosuke threw themselves into their training and seemed to get the hang of it in no time. Once they mastered total concentration constant, they finished their full body and reflex training without much trouble. Now, all three of us have finished our rehabilitation training. It was a long road, but we came out much stronger by the end of it. And now... Excellent. Looks like you're good as new. That ends the exam. Since you're in physically good health, you're fit to carry out your missions now. So I'm done training? Yes. Next is in-field combat. Great! Oh, before I forget, there's something I wanted to ask you. What is it? Have you ever heard of the Hinokami Kagura? I have not. Huh? I, I uh... Well then, what about fire breathing? Never heard of it. <laughs> well, these are techniques that I learned in my family growing up. Oh, huh. I see. So you're saying your father seemed to be using fire breathing. I've heard of flame breathing, but that's not the same thing. Huh? It's not? I don't quite know the details myself. I'm sorry. But I do know that they're very strict about the exact phrasing. Flame breathing must never be referred to as fire breathing. You may want to ask the Flame Hashira, Rengoku, for more details. This crow can help you out. Thank you. I'll ask him a lot of questions. For now, I'll be off. Tanjiro? Yes? You'll do great things. Thanks. All right. Let's go. All right, then. What's this? Let's, um... I have no idea where I'm going now, but yes, we we're back in our old gear, so... Yes, we head out? Definitely have to come back to this place and do some more... Do some more scouting out. Oh, there is Zenitsu and Inosuke. Hello, my friends. Let's get up out of here. Everything. All right, everyone. We're heading out now.
For the Mugen train mission, I have decided to send Tanjiro and the others. Tanjiro has a pure soul and will work diligently toward all his goals. And the potential he showed exceeded my expectations. And perhaps most importantly of all, his sense of purpose lies in defeating Kibutsuji. I am in complete agreement with you on those counts. On another matter, Tanjiro told me his father had used fire breathing. Ah. <sighs> As of now, there's no denying that he still has quite a ways to go. But I think that Rengoku, our flame Hashira, could give him assistance. Agreed. Considering that his sister is a demon who refrains from killing humans, and that he already came face to face with Kibutsuji, Tanjiro may very well have been born to fulfill this destiny. All right. All right, guys. So now we are starting the Mujin Train mission in the next episode, guys. This one is going to be awesome. Chapter 8. I don't know if this is uh this might be the last chapter. I can't really say. It might be, but guys, we're going to have to find out in the next episode so guys thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys tune in for the next episode i've got a feel this is gonna be awesome since we're gonna actually be uh teaming up with one of the hashira so things are gonna get probably crazy so we're gonna have to see but guys y'all stay safe out there y'all keep it 300 and i will catch you guys in the next episode peace out